No, no. I am um, very pleased to be here. Um, Bill uh, and I started uh, our jobs in 1988. Same time. Um, unlike myself, I think Bill knew what he was doing. Um, Bill, uh, I think one of the things that maybe, well, I hope doesn't go unrecognized, is, is what a difference Bill made to the IES. Um, I mean, it, uh, Bill is the Rocky Mountains in the sense that it was a watershed uh, once Bill came. Um, and I think that um, getting to know Bill, uh, we didn't know each other well at the beginning, but um, one of the nice things about it was, and I, I speak for myself, but I hope it's true for Bill too, that we began to trust one another. And that, uh, that's pretty unusual. Um, and I don't know if it was because of anything that we did necessarily, but I think there was a certain resonance and trust. And Bill, I've continued to feel that way uh, throughout my professional career. And I think uh, one of the things that uh, is remarkable, and it's difficult to see the context now, but in uh, 1992, uh, the IS was not doing so well. Not your fault. <laughs> um, but Bill explained to me what the financial uh, revenue and expenses were for the IS. And the thing that he said was one of the top uh, revenue generators for the IS was the IS handbook. And there hadn't been one for nearly a decade. Um, Bill trusted us. And that's the only way I could phrase it. I mean, I think Bill was out on a limb in many ways to take an untried uh, mechanism and it always, the yeah, handbook had always been done within, uh, with staff, and Bill broke the mold and uh, gave us the privilege um, to really uh, take that challenge up. And I remember the, the deal we struck. I said, Bill, don't micromanage me. If I don't do my job, just fire me. And, and I have to say, when you talk about management, the kinds of things that Bill does is so important because what he does is he gets the staff, uh, Paul just spoke to that, and he lets them do their job. And I don't know if you ever fired anybody, but at least uh, I was under the threat of being fired uh, to do that. So um, I, I have nothing but the greatest admiration for Bill. I think the legacy Bill left the IES is one that will too easily be forgotten. I think that he's a quiet manager, he's a quiet leader, and yet those are the kind of people that in the end, are the ones we all count on. Um, I don't know what plans the IES has, but if they can get half of the contribution you've made, Bill, to lighting and society, uh, they'll be very, very fortunate to do this. So, I, I was told by Randy that it was a toast. Yes. Okay, well, I, I picked up. So, I. Uh, <laughs> Bill, may you live as long as you want, and may you never want to live. <laughs> may you never want to live as long as you wish. Okay, so I wish you the very best. Of